Useful Phrases for Beginners, Part 4. If you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you turn on the notification button to get all videos. Hey guys, this is Omnia Smart talking to you, hope you're doing well. And in this video, we are going to continue our series, Useful Phrases for Beginners. Last video, we stopped at number 30, so in this video, I'm going to continue until number 40. This one is, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. We use this phrase if someone is nervous and we would like to say that it's more easier than this, so don't be nervous. Again, guys, how can I say this phrase? Take it easy. Number 32. If you would like to speak about your country and where were you born, you are going to use this phrase. I was born in Egypt. I was born in Egypt. And I'm not saying was, I'm saying was. I was born in Egypt. Of course, you can remove Egypt and you put your own country. So, for example, I was born in America. I was born in Jordan, and so on. Number 33 is, do you mind if I? Do you mind if I? I use this question if I need to suggest an idea, and I'm not quite sure if the person in front of me will agree or disagree. So I'm asking him or her, do you mind if I? And you can continue the phrase. For example, do you mind if I take your pen? Do you mind if I open the door? Do you mind if I borrow some money from you? Alright, so let's move to phrase number 34. This phrase, we use it if the person in front of me is afraid of something. So I'm going to say, don't worry. Don't worry. Or you can remove the T and make it silent T because it comes after N and you're going to say, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's move to number 35 and it's are you okay? Are you okay? Or are you alright? Are you alright? I ask this question or I turn to this phrase if the person in front of me seems like he's not okay. So I need to make sure that the person is fine or not. Let's move to number 36. We haven't seen each other for a long time. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Again, we haven't seen each other for a long time. We use this phrase if you didn't see your friends or any person in your life for a long period of time. So you're saying, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Let's move on to number 37 and it is, I have been looking for you everywhere. I have been looking for you everywhere. So here, I'm saying I have been, I'm not saying I have been. Though, been is not wrong, but we prefer been. So I have been looking for you everywhere. This means that you lost somebody and you didn't find him or her, so you are saying I have been looking for you everywhere. Have plus been plus verb plus ing, this is present perfect continuous. And this tense, it means that you started doing something in the past, you are still doing it in the present, and you will keep doing this in the future. I've been looking for you everywhere. Number 38. Time is money. Time is money. Time is money. Number 39. I can't bear this again. I can't bear this again. I can bear this again. If somebody did something wrong to you and you need to say that this was really bad and you will not accept this again, so you can use this phrase. I can't bear this again. Number 40 and the last one. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We use this phrase to mean that someone is very important in our lives. For example, you can use this phrase with your father. I'm lost without you. With your mother. 
with a friend that really means a lot to you. With this phrase, guys, we've reached the end of this episode. My best wishes. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a lovely day. Thank you.